gonna make a healthy keto lunch, which is a super vegetable egg salad. And it's uh, like Suzanne style, which means a lot of vegetables in there, a lot of green vegetables. I think a lot of people that do keto, they start making fried cheese with fried eggs and fried bacon. And I'm kind of wondering like, how is your bunny is going to be cleaning itself you know where are the nutrients so uh, I got a lot of green vegetables and don't get stressed if you do not have any of these in your house or you don't know how to get it I was just in India and they don't have any of these basically just get green stuff or get stuff that you enjoy and uh, be creative uh, red onion which I like a lot uh, this is a turmeric root I don't know if you know it but if you crack it it's very orange and uh, it's very good, very good for immune system. It's, uh, it, it's family of ginger root, but uh, it's, a, it's a great thing to have. And the medical industry tried to patent to uh, it wasn't possible. So that's a good thing. So we can just still have it. This is kale. This is like, I'm like quite a fancy, it's like pre-washed kale, but you can also, of course, get the unwashed one. I'm gonna put it on a bed of spinach. So spinach and very nice and crunchy in it. I really like celery and celery is very healthy. A lot of people are having a lot of celery uh, juice, 16 ounces of celery juice in the morning or something for uh, uh, all kinds of health ailments. So celery is great. And uh, I'm, I'm an addict of cilantro, but not everyone is of course. So you, or you love it or you hate it. But cilantro is, is it's an incredible herb. Uh, it also helps clean your pineal gland. So it helps to improve your meditations and it helps to uh, get uh, heavy metals and toxins out of your body so I can never have enough cilantro I also put it in my morning uh, green smoothies mung bean sprouts figured that out really late um, those little small beans you can get those small green beans mung beans and those are super healthy and these are actually just the sprouts of that so I'm gonna add that all to my egg salad I'm having I think uh, five eggs one clove of garlic, you know, I would call it pickles, but gherkins, I don't know what American English people call it. Capers, very yummy. I also put the list of, list of all the ingredients that I'm using below here so you don't have to stress. Olives, very yummy. Yeah, and I made my own uh, mayonnaise because we're out of mayonnaise, but this is a uh, coconut oil. Uh, co yeah, coconut oil mayonnaise, which is actually like very good for keto. Well, my addiction, uh, nice rock salt, pink rock salt, pepper, and some walnuts for the crunchy. Nuts are also, of course, very good for keto. That's it, let's get started. It looks like that, eggs boiling here, kill there, lid, and wait. Your eggs are done. It's important to in Dutch we call it scare them, but basically put them under cold, cold running water. With cilantro I'm not using the stems, so they go there. And the rest just chop it finely. And how you chop like this, like maybe it looks fancy, but it's it's not that difficult. Basically you make sure you don't chop your fingers, so you leave them like this. So if you would do it like this, you could chop over it. So you leave them like this. And you always keep the point on the flat surface. So it's not even, just like sliding through it basically. Chop things quickly, you know? Very often people think, oh, vegetables, it takes so much time. Yeah, but it's only if you're very slow at chopping things usually like two handful of sprouts and the olives and the pickles i'll just chop. add some pepper to taste so let's add the homemade mayonnaise if you haven't seen the recipe for how to make a homemade mayonnaise I'll link it in this video mayonnaise has is made on the basis of coconut oil instead of soy oil or canola oil and coconut oil is very good for your body at least that's what the trend is saying at the moment there's actually like a lot of vegetables in there so it's not really a traditional egg salad uh, I think that's often just a little too oily for my taste and I like to add vegetables to whatever I do because you can basically never have enough vegetables
lunch is ready and uh, I already tasted it. Like let's 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 give it a little try. Mm. I'm his private chef, so uh, the most important thing is that Robert likes what I cook. No, so. you, you usually do. You usually do. <laughs> Mmm, as usual, very good, very, very tasty. I hope you enjoyed the how to make the vegetarian super healthy keto um, vegetable salad Suzanne style. Uh, I really enjoyed cooking it and it's one really one of my favorite dishes. If you like this dish or more dishes like this or uh, like to know more, learn more about health and restoring from autoimmune disease, uh, yeah, please subscribe and like uh, these videos. Then I know what to do and I know what you like so I can keep going. And also if there's dishes that you'd really like to see cooked or you want like a good easy recipe that I already tried for you and made, it, like, made sure it's super yummy, then uh, please write it in the re reactions down here. And uh, yeah, we'd love to get to know you better and uh, uh, yeah, share this awesome journey of uh, vegetarian keto together. Okay, bye-bye, have a great day.